Corgi, do you think she did it? Is there a lot of evidence against her? So I am still sifting through a lot of the information in this case, but I think for sure, for sure she had to have known. I think obviously uh, Charlie was the one who orchestrated the hitman and all that, but for sure Donna had to be in it. She was the one who was writing checks out to Katie McBanwell, the one who hired the hitman. And like, there's like, she had to know, she had to know. And I think Harvey knew as well, but you know, Harvey probably didn't have like a heavy hand in it like Donna did. Donna hated Dan Markell so much. She was writing all these emails about him. Like, I, I think for sure she knew about it and she at least did the payments. But like, I don't know. I don't know if it was really her who was like, because people say that she was the mastermind um, behind everything. So I don't know if it started with her or if it started with like Charlie. A lot of people are pointing her as the mastermind, but all I know is she'd be signing them checks to Katie McBenwell. Was it like twice, twice a year, twice, a, twice a month or something like that? Um, and Harvey had to have known, okay? Harvey had to have an inkling. And then Wendy, you know, Wendy, I feel like she had to, you know, I think Wendy did a lot of things that may look like she could be the innocent party and all this. And oh my God, it's my crazy family who did this on their own. But mm, I don't know. One of the biggest things against Wendy was her driving by the crime scene and her making up excuses about it and her taking a very convoluted way to meet her friends and go to the liquor store instead of just going straight there. Like I... Wendy had some ink link, okay? I don't know. Let's see what happens with Wendy afterwards, after Donna gets, um, you know, convicted. <laughs> oh my God, we are out. We are safe. We about to fly on a flight into Vietnam and Dubai. Like, she thought she can escape this, okay? Good reaction. Every time she does like the eye bulging eyes, like she does that a lot of when like <laughs> when she's in court, okay? She be doing the her eyes about to be pop out or something, man. Donna, come on, you can't be playing dumb. Donna, you know why they're there for you. You know what's up. You know what you're trying to do. Oh. I have to go with I have to go. I have to go. Let me help you out. I have to stay. Please don't do this. I, I love the facial expressions here. It's like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. I can't believe you're doing this. Like, oh my God. Like, mm, come on, woman. You, you, you've you been running around free reign for 10 years now, all right? Take the bags. Yeah. And you need to wait outside. Okay. My husband's almost 80 years old. He can't yeah, come I with can. me. Please, can I help? No, no, you can't do it right there. Oh, don't do this, oh, please. Please. Oh, God. Someone's got to help him get home. This is terrible. <laughs> And the fact that they're begging there, like, please, please, oh my God, like he's 80 years old. Like, I don't know, man. I, I mean, Harvey looks kind of, I'm just looking at like a little five second clip bit, but he looks, looks healthy. He looks okay. He looks all right right now. It's not like he's like, you know, he's able, unable to stand on his own. He's in a wheelchair. He's like crossing over. He's, he's, he's standing up and he looks mentally cogent. 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 Is that okay with you? Please. He is, is he begging her not to take her out in handcuffs? What does this kind of remind me of? I know a lot of people gave hate towards Alexi Treviso's mom. I don't have as much hate towards her, but I do remember her begging the police officers, like, please don't let her walk down, like, you know, with the handcuffs. Like, can you please pull your car up here just so she doesn't have to do, like, the walk of shame? Like, I don't know, and these people just want, like, the special treatment right here. <laughs> Don't let her walk out in handcuffs. Like, what do you think is happening? She's getting arrested. And it's not for something that's innocuous. It's for murder, okay? Hiring people to kill your son-in-law. Is that okay with you? Please. You don't have to have the or She's not going anywhere. Please. You have anything in your pocket? No. Uh, no. 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 Do you have anything yeah. about you in you? No, I. I you have my necklace on. You can, my, you can take my, it off. I'll take yeah, take it off. Yeah. And the earrings. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the, earrings. Yeah. the rings. Take everything. Um. You give it to your husband. Because once you arrive at County Hill, they're gonna make you remove all that. Can I call my attorney? You can. You have a passport ready? Where am I going? 
Oh, which part of the company finger? Where am I going? You're going to the Dade County Jail. Dade County Jail. Dade County Jail? No, no, no. This is right here. The one on the Oh, God, we don't need multiple angles of the kiss. What is <laughs> What is this? No problem. You can have it. I'm sorry. Can you move your earrings? Um, what I want to know, oh, it looks like that. that's the... That's the thing that extends into the airplane, right? It looks like they already got past the the boarding check, um, the ticket check counter. It looks like they're about to board the plane, right? That looks like it right there, the little hallway. Oh, man, because she probably gave their ticket and the passport to the flight attendant. And the moment they got through that, they're like, whew, yo, we made it. We got this. And they're about to walk down that long hallway to get seated into the airplane. And that's probably when they got yoinked. Oh, let's go to the jetway. <gasps> One Ain't she lucky? She got Harvey there to take the earrings off of her, okay? And they won't have possession of it in the in the jail. Oh God, no, that is pretty embarrassing. Uh, there's a line behind her. She's holding it up because, you know, they have to arrest her and all that stuff. But, like, dude, these people are watching. I wonder if anyone here is filming. Oh, God, not the boob. Someone in chat says maybe police did that. Give them a false sense of victory. <laughs> Um, Emirates flight two, because the flight attendant is like dressed like Emirates flight ones. Yeah, the layover is in Dubai. I don't want to hurt her. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. It's getting there. Listen to me. Yeah, I'll call. Get in an Uber. Go home. I will. I will. I will. All right. Yes. Yeah. There's anything else in her person that she wants. Oh, it's coming, sweetheart. I got my, it's coming. Just All right. Do you have See, I was just say it would have been really funny if Harvey's like, well, bye. I'm still going to do bye. I'm still going to Vietnam. Peace out, Donna. I'm getting the fuck out of here. But she's like, no, get an Uber and go home. Don't be leaving without me, Harvey. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's in my, it's in my, yeah, it's in my purse. Yeah. Yeah. How would you get any good gift? Sir, do you need her passport? There. Or can I give it to the husband? The passport can I give it to the husband? Where is it? It's in the, it's in the blue and white. It's in the blue and white. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to get the driver's license for it. Yeah. And the, the license, the address on your license is correct? Yes. She, she needs all her, she needs all her jails. They're when she goes, they're when she goes to the jail, they work to the jail. They're all in here, though. Yes, but yeah. they work. If, if I take them here, what will happen is when you go there, they cost them, cost them out. So when you go to the fair, you will meet the nurse and the doctor, and then they'll work in conjunction with the hospital to get you whatever you need. See, Donna, this is what happens when you get arrested. Everything in life just becomes an inconvenience. Like, she's trying to get her pills, and she's, like, rolling her eyes because, like, the process is not, like, how she likes it. Like, this is what happens when you go to jail. It's so... And I feel so bad. I mean, so I don't feel bad for her. But being 70-something years old, it's going to be very fucking uncomfortable because I don't know what else pills she got to be on. I don't know if she has back issues, you know, if she's got, like, hip issues. Like, it's going to be very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, boy. She's got Charlie's lawyer now. Yeah, I was like, why? Why would you hire Charlie's lawyer? He lost your son's case. Um, they do have a lawyer that's local to Tallahassee because I think they thought, they probably thought the whole thing was rigged against them because they got these like big rig lawyers from like Miami and they're like Miami people and these like Tallahassee like bumfuck people were just like, you know, they think they're just like, like if you ever listen to the jailhouse calls between Charlie and Donna, um, they make it seem like the jury were just like these like dumb idiots who just believe Georgia Kappelman's lies. She's a state prosecutor. And that they're just like, oh, these look at these Miami people. So their new strategy is like hiring, a, I guess, a local Tallahassee lawyer thinking it will do something. But it's like, no, nah, the evidence is against you, okay? It's not because Georgia Kappelman went up there and lied. It's not because these people are too fucking dumb to make a decision. It's because the evidence 
is against you. Like Charlie, come on. Charlie thought he could go up there and be like, oh, look at me. I'm a prestigious dentist. I'm an orthodontist. You know, I have Ferraris. I have Lamborghinis. I, I would never commit something so beneath me. And like, oh, these people here, they were trying to blackmail me because I'm rich as fuck. Like, no, it's because the evidence was against you. And I don't know, it's gonna be very interesting to see what Donna's defense is going to be. Because at this point, Donna, Donna just needs to throw Charlie under the bus. Throw Charlie under the bus. Throw... I, I don't think she's going to throw Wendy under the bus because, you know, she's got her grandkids to worry about. But just throw Charlie under the bus, man. He's already sitting in jail. He ain't getting out, okay? He's trying to do an appeal, but, like, is anything really going to happen? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I, I think he's just going to be sitting there rotting in jail. The claims that she made after going to prison, the jail staff made her, like, half naked in her little hands and withheld uh, her medication. Yeah, it seems to me that, like, because um, she kind of threatened to, like, harm herself before she was arrested, they put her on suicide watch. So they gave her, like, the Chad Dorman, like, green vest thing so she couldn't hurt herself. And, of course, you know, you're not going to get utensils when you're eating because, you know, you might use that to harm yourself as well. And, like, maybe with the clothes thing, like, I don't know, maybe they didn't want to give her as much clothes because you can use it to choke yourself. I, I don't know. I mean, I all I know is... is all I know is that um, she was in um, suicide watch when she first arrived, um, the first holding place that she was at. I think like um, it was determined that she wasn't supposed to be on suicide watch anymore and they transported her, but then they put her back in suicide watch and she was like, why am I back on suicide watch? It's already been determined somewhere else that I'm not at risk. So I think there were some issues with that part right there. But I don't know, man. It's, it's so interesting to see people when they get arrested, to see all of like... I don't know, like, oh, please, please, dog, or like, oh my God, like, you're making my life so uncomfortable right now. Like, let me have my pills. Let me have my jewelry. Like, take it off. And I don't know, all this stuff. Anyways, do I think she was running from the law? Heck yeah, she was. She was dipping on out. What will happen is when you go there, they'll cost them, toss them out. So when you go to the there, you will meet the nurse and the doctor, and then they'll work in conjunction with the hospital to get you whatever you need. Yeah, but I don't have my list with me. I know what's going on. Yes. I have a, uh, is it, is it multiple? She looks very frustrated. It's, no, there's a bag of medication in here. Is that can what you're asking me? She can yeah. take medication. No, I know, I know. I was just trying to find out if it's like one or two. Yeah, if it was one or two, then she maybe could take the name down. Do you need anything else from her? Can I ask you something? Can so, can someone just get my husband outside and so no, I'll be here. I'll get him. I'll get him. There's a gentleman here with a system in the way there. I'll be okay. I have Wait. the ring. Hold on. Hold on. Let me have the ring. Please. Okay. 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 I, I don't understand. Like, can Harvey, he looks like he's mentally there. He looks like he's physically okay. Like, can he not, like, just, like, leave the airport on his own and call an Uber? Uh, it's like, she's, like, trying to ask the police, like, please help escort him out of here. Like, he looks, he looks fine. Or does, is there something mentally with um, like Harvey that we don't know about? Like, does he have like schizophrenia or something like that? Maybe like sometimes he's okay, sometimes he's not. She's afraid of him getting lost. Wouldn't it just be best right now if Harvey just calls Wendy, be like, hey, daughter, your mom is getting arrested. Pick me up. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. All right, so now, so I don't have the meds, honey. They're all in here. Okay. North Korea? Yeah, she was naked. One moment. Hey, at least there's not that many people there. Maybe they're flying in economy class. You know, towards like the back of the plane. Oh god. She's gonna walk through the whole airport like this. Yo, they didn't even give her like a golf cart transport. <laughs> Let me hear her walk all the way. Oh god. <laughs> Where's Harvey at? What's she wearing? She got are those hokas. By the way, hokas are the most comfortable shoes ever. But they got some ugly ass color schemes. Okay, just stick with white. Stick with white. Pink and blue. Mm mm. Too bright. Damn. This is is this the time to go to the airport? It's like almost 8 p.m. over there. It's pretty dead actually. There's not a lot of people there. I feel like if you go to LAX at 8 p.m., it's so busy. You gotta go when it's like two, three, or four. That's that's when it's dead. 
Yeah, they didn't even give her a golf cart, man. They're making her walk this entire thing. <laughs> I wonder if anyone recognizes her. Or if they just thought she was just some old lady who was just trying to, like, you know, smuggle some drugs or something like that. Okay, some people staring. Some people staring. <laughs> I wish the airport would have made an announcement while she walked. Attention, there is a convict being transported. Please maintain the distance. I mean, she's an old lady. She don't look very dangerous, you know? Man, do they not have, like... I, I guess there's, like, no, like, back area where you can just, like, kind of go through. You just gotta walk... <laughs> you just gotta go walk through the airport here. No golf court for data. I mean, I thought they would give her a golf court. I, I feel like if I've ever seen anyone... Have I ever seen anyone arrested at the airport before? I've seen people being escorted out. Not, tech, not, not really, like, handcuffed. But I thought they got the golf cart treatment. I'm running all six from now, from here, and then I'll get the case number for the video. Shame. Ding! Shame. Ding! Imagine how uh, relieved you'd be not to be on the play with her. Listen, they probably thought she was being arrested for like something small. Tax evasion or something. Not for murder, I don't know. I don't know if people recognized her. Hey, Will, how's it going? Okay, never mind. It's starting to get pretty crowded at the airport. Okay, oh, there's oh, there's a lot of people here. What terminal are we at right now? Dude, if Donna pulled a Caitlin Armstrong, you guys. Caitlin Armstrong, the yoga teacher lady who tried to run for the cops. She actually made it all the way to Costa Rica and was there for like 30 plus days before they um, hauled her ass back. But she tried to make a run for it when she was uh, having an appointment at the doctor's office. I don't know, man. Donna, maybe she'll start working out. Maybe she'll start doing some yoga. Maybe she'll make a run for it at some point. Because this is the type of woman who... Absolutely. I feel like absolutely. Her sitting in jail is just Dan Markel rubbing it in her face. I could totally see her portraying it that way. Was she lining up to board and everything? She was getting very close to board the plane. I she already passed like the ticket check. Hi studio. She should have bought them like thermal pants during the Black Friday sale. You mean the heat tag from Uniqlo? <laughs> Donna could dye her hair, get out of this job. It didn't, it didn't work for Caitlin Armstrong, okay? Caitlin Armstrong did all that, and she turned out looking way worse. She's so smug the entire time. It's just like, initially, at her arrest, her just being in such disbelief. Like, oh my god, I can't believe this. Please, please. Can you see her running in cubs? I mean, I don't know, man. We see all types of people who think they can get away. It's always hilarious. Say so you want to use yourself as a joke or being serious even when you're a suspect in jail reporting for sentencing? Nobody's going to take it lightly and take the strictest precautions. Yeah, they want to make sure she doesn't harm herself while they're, you know, she's under their custody. Sorry, can you guys hear me speak? I don't know if the white noise in this video is way too loud. We're leaving now? We're not sure. Okay, we want to thank Morgan and Morgan oh, for hi. sponsoring this body cam. Oh, God, we just got hit with an ad. Morgan and Morgan! Okay, they do... I think Morgan Morgan. What are they? Injury, accidents, call Morgan and Morgan. All right, there you go. Back to Dom. Oh my God, that ad came out of nowhere. Do you remember when Long Crime had a random ad with, um, what is that gaming ad again? Uh, it was like a, such a random gaming ad that they did. Um, oh my God, do y'all know what I'm talking about? For you guys who are on Twitch, every streamer gets this freaking sponsorship. Hi, Corgi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Raid? Is it called Raid? 
Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, that's what it was. Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, I remember. I was like, why, why is there a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship on Long Cry? That was so funny. And I think they got so much hate from that because I never saw it ever again. <laughs> I was in first. She's so rude. Oh, when they give her right, water. Daniela. Oh! Dude, law enforcement, they know the angles that we want. <laughs> Is this a normal thing for them to reposition their body cam right at the perpetrator or at the person who's getting arrested? <laughs> Why, thank you, law enforcement. How did you know we wanted to watch this angle of Donna? kind of awkward she starts vlogging no stop hey guys welcome my name is donna Adelson. i've just been arrested hit the like button subscribe and don't forget to comment down below no no this is kind of awkward actually it feels like i'm sitting across from her so donna how's your day going feeling a little uncomfortable are those handcuffs a little too tight, you think? It's kind of hot, right? Got the AC on? Oh, I don't know if they cracked the window down for you. Also, where did Harvey go? Did he get escorted by the police, too? I mean, she must know. This is for sure a long time coming. I don't know. And the fact that, like, they got to run around free for, like, 10 years. 10 years. She had to be with her grandkids for 10 years. They probably got to brainwash the grandkids for 10 years. They erased Dan Markell. It wouldn't surprise me if in her mind, she still thought everything was worth it. But you see, people like this, they don't consider the damage that's been done to the grandkids. wild to me just seeing like the little the little like little attitudes here and there you know like she's obviously just doing her job like she she probably doesn't know what you're getting arrested for okay she got to make sure she's not gonna get hurt when she's searching your body i don't know man like the the, the, the sense of like entitlement and like the attitude i bet you donna was sitting in the back seat of the car was like damn i was really looking forward to eating that pho when i get to vietnam i love pho <laughs> now she ain't gonna get any of that in jail she's just gonna get some nasty food i don't know maybe she'll get Maybe she'll ask for kosher food when she's in jail. Leticia Stalk. Like, why are you shaking your head? Have you never been searched before? I don't know. Maybe like I'm used to it because like I've been to the clubs and stuff before and she probably doesn't go clubbing because, you know, she's like 50, 67 years old. But like this is like normal procedure, man. 
Like, she's not trying to harass you, nothing. <laughs> it's normal procedure. Ma'am, I, I, oh, I, <laughs> I was going to say, I would have been very impressed if she was going to be able to hold the water bottle and drink it. I was like, I don't know if she's that flexible. Just get the police officers to help you. It's like girl didn't drink it. Wait, is that is that true? So she asked them to turn on the air conditioner, um, but he said the air conditioner doesn't go to the back because of the plastic piece. Oh. Oh my god, I even think about that. Wait, seriously? When people get arrested as hot as fuck, they don't What? They just have to sit back there? I mean, I know I don't I mean, I don't know, man. That's 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 kind of uh that's a yikes. That's very uncomfortable. And especially if you're in Miami too. Jesus, that's so hot. Because my Tesla has like the AC in the back. And so like, you know, like it blows air to my dog. But I forgot that like cars typically don't have AC in the back area. It just blows from the front. Oh my God, I didn't even think about this. Actually, that really sucks. Hi, Caitlin. The clubs suck anyways, okay? It's loud, it's nasty, it's moisty. <laughs> you were at the exact gate at the airport a couple weeks ago? Wait, what's that crate that's next to her? Hi, Leela. You saw this yesterday? Actually, is it hot still in Miami in November? I don't know, Donna. If I were you, I wouldn't be drinking that much because having to pee sucks even more. Um, November 13, 2023, Miami weather. How hot was it in Miami? Oh, dude, it's still pretty hot, actually. 70s, 80s. Ooh, ooh, still pretty hot. Nighttime, high 70s. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty hot. Damn, so note to self, if you ever get arrested, don't get arrested in Miami. Don't get arrested in, like, Arizona when it's hot, Vegas. And you're in the back seat, you're not going to get any AC, okay? Putting the window down, it's not going to help you at all. It's super humid at night. Jeez. Do you know, do you know how, how long we're going to sit here? Oh, how long we're going to sit here? Um, and as soon as he comes back, he's going to take you from here to the orange floor and then to the facility. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever information he took from you, I guess that's what he was missing. So he's going to head to that and come back. Okay. I mean, they're probably going to retrieve the checked luggage. Man, that sounds like a pain in the butt. But they're probably going to retrieve the checked luggage because Harvey's still there, right? I'm sure the luggage is checked under, like, both of them. So the, the next place is what? The warrant? What did you say? Huh? What did you say the next place was? The well, see, what happened is the, the warrant that they have from you is from out of Leon County. Okay. When did they issue a warrant? So what happened is we have to take, we have to take you... Wait, wait, wait. I need to boost the audio on this. Oh, man. She's like, shit, when did they issue the warrant? You mean if I left when Charlie Adelson was still being tried, I could have made it out? Yeah, Donna, you probably should have left way sooner. I don't know why she didn't. Um, Sorry, the audio. I'm going to boost it up here. Huh? What did you say the next place was? The well, see, what happened is the, the warrant that they have from you is from out of Leon County. When did they issue a warrant? So what happened is we have to take, we have to take you 
to our warrants room for that information to get entered. And then after that gets entered, before we can take it to, uh, to the jail, to the local jail. Okay, because I didn't know there was a warrant. How would I know that? How would I know there's a warrant? How, how would I have known that? Exactly. You didn't. Well, we wouldn't have been able to take you if there wasn't something in place. So aren't they supposed to inform? Uh -huh. Aren't they supposed to inform me if there was a warrant for me? Nah, lady, they're not going to tell you ahead of time because they know you're going to dip out. This is a sneak attack. This is a surprise attack. <laughs> I don't know the details. No, I don't either. And, um, they had a warrant. And you, uh, gentleman that you met earlier in the, in the plane clothes? Yes. Right. They were, they were supposed to inform you of whatever. And then, because it's a, because it's a county warrant, that's how we became involved. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Dada be like, I can't believe y'all didn't give me a heads up that I had a warrant out for my arrest. <laughs> that way I could escape way sooner. <laughs> Okay, Donna. Can't always beat the system. Can't always beat the system. The weather in Vietnam is really hot and humid there too. And a lot of places in Vietnam don't have AC. So she's kind of getting the Vietnam experience. Ish. Yeah, you're gonna have to bring up the window because it's raining. It's raining a lot, yeah? Yeah, it's been raining. Okay, brother. Thank you, man. I'll see you. Oh, no. Hi, this is Donna. You're watching the Disney Channel. Remember with, like, the wands and stuff that, that they would use? Oh, my God. That's just a throwback. Oh, man. Change my QTH to Warren, transporting a white female, ready for a study. Six zero zero three. Let's roll out the windows. It's raining once we exit, okay? What do y'all think of uh, Donald's facial expression? Does it look like she was reflecting? She was acceptance? Uh, what stage do you think she's in? You think she's still in denial stage? Where are we at? Jesus, rainy, humid. Ooh, that's loud, sorry. She was surprised she was caught. Totally still in denial. <laughs> Here's something. Let me lock the door. Just push my glasses up a little on my nose. Absolutely. Like that? Oh, that okay? Thank you. No, you're welcome. I'm going to go to that office right there in the corner. 
Listen, this family was so dumb that they were revealing things in like jailhouse calls. I don't know why they didn't think that people weren't going to listen to it. It literally says this call is recorded. This call is recorded for quality assurance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a different type of call. <laughs> but, 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 I am looking forward to any jailhouse calls that Donna makes. Um, I don't know. I hope they leak it. I want to hear what kind of calls she'd be making when she's in jail. Especially her talking to Harvey, her trying to maybe like, I wonder if she's been trying to call Wendy, but like Wendy's been, uh, oh, but I think Wendy was told to not talk with her family, right? Or at least, at least not discuss like the crime with her family, like this entire thing with her family. I think there's still a lot to talk to each other, aren't they? Damn, dude. That flight already took ground, probably. Here already took off. Damn, the prisoner's entrance. What is on- what is- what is that? What is that on the- on the door? Thank you. How are you doing? Let's have a seat over Well, calls between like attorneys and their clients. That's like attorney client privilege. So remember when um I think there was a conversation that was leaked between Murdoch and like Jim Griffin. Um Oh man, what was it? I think like Jim was trying to get off the phone with Alec Murdoch and then Alec was like telling him like how he like didn't do a good job. He was disappointed or something. And Jim's like, okay, I just gotta get, I gotta get back to my family. <laughs> those calls were leaked. And I'm pretty sure those calls are not supposed to be leaked. Even though you're not talking about the case, um, you're still talking to your clients. I still, I still think those calls are not supposed to be leaked. No, I can't wait to find out what they uncover from her phone, from her tablet, her emails. I think the emails are going to be where the the crux of the information is going to be, the emails. Because devices, you know, she's probably had so many different iPhones. It's been 10 years. But like the emails, emails. Can't wait to see the emails. The crate next to her. What's the evidence against her? <laughs> I'm surprised they would leave something next to her. Like, what if she... Tries to use a escape from hell, you know. Take your time to rush. Go for your head. Use the crate to like cut off your handcuffs. I don't know. We're gonna go through that door over there. Over a witch thought? Who? Who's a thought? Which one? Are you, which case are you talking about? Telling her to have a seat, but then she's like, Oh, the bench is wet. <laughs> All she wanted was that bow. <laughs> Oh, 
with a spinning order just in case it's raining. Try biscuit. How are you doing, boss? Yo, what is this thumbnail? Woman laughs after tolling her car if it's a drunk driving. Jesus Christ. What is, what is wrong with all these like drunk driving like footages? Oh, yeah. Some people unhinge. All right, you know I'm going to scroll down and read the updated comments, right? She says this is terrible. What's terrible is you and your son conspiring to murder your son-in-law. And then you try to flee to a country that has no extradition laws. They are so entitled. I love the long walk of shame and handcuffs. That look on her face in the patrol car screams. I'm screwed. He's 80 years old. This is insane. No, ma'am. Planning the death of your son-in-law is insane. Just vile. People who think the laws don't apply to them are just to are to them are to a certain extent insane. Why was it so hard for me to read? I love the moment when the cop goes, you're under arrest for the murder of Dan Mark Cal. The fact that she has to hear his name mm -hmm, and the word arrest in the same sentence is justice and glorious. Yeah, I wish the audio was more clear uh, when they said that. It was the audio was like very like oh, there's too many things going on in the background. Oh, man. Boy, oh, boy. I just feel so bad for Dan Markell's family because this has been dragging out for so long and there's so many people involved, so many trials to be a part of, to watch. But damn, you know, I think, I think having Charlie get life in prison and then having Donna go next, I think that's great. We'll see what happens with Miss Wendy Adelson. Is Wendy Adelson, is she dating now? Does she ever remarry or no? Is she like still, like what's up with her? Anyone know?